when we usher in our festivals, we start off with Kiddush. We hold up a cup of wine and we say the blessings. Included in the Kiddush is the words, Mo'adim Lesimcha, festivals for joy. The Svasemes, the great Hasidic master, asks, why do we say festivals for joy? We should say times of joy, festivals of happiness. And he explains that festivals for joy means that the experience that we experience during the festival needs to be so profound and so moving that it spills over, it's carried over throughout the year. Rabbi Abraham Tversky explains similarly in this week's portion, MR, where the Torah calls the festivals Mikra e Kodesh. Mikrei Kodesh literally means happenings, events of holiness. Rabbi Tversky says, look at the word Mikrei Kodesh. It has the root Kira. What does Kara mean? To call. And he points out that God is telling us <laughs> within the word of the professor Mikrei Kodesh that it's a calling for holiness. It's a calling to us to capture the feelings of each of the festival as we observe them and make them not just momentary, but the feeling that we experience on each of the festivals, the spiritual elevation and the joy, that moment, that time that we feel makes a difference and the impact is lasting. Speaking of making a difference, very often when we're angry, upset about something, and somebody comes to us and says, come on, what are you so upset about? Will it make a difference? Come on, 10 years from now, 10 years from now, will it really make a difference? The outcome of well, what you're angry about, will it really make a difference? And often those words can calm us down when we see it really won't make a difference. Now, I want to contrast that to mitzvahs. If we have a mitzvah before us and we observe it just a little bit better, a little bit more detail, a little bit more feeling, a little bit more happiness, will it make a difference? Five years from now? Ten years from now? <laughs> you sure will. Not just five, not just ten, but it'll make a difference for all eternity because God tells us, observe my mitzvahs and sanctify yourselves. You are, I am holy, you are holy, and you'll be holy through the performance of my, of my mitzvahs. So imagine, imagine, at any time, at any moment, if we ask ourselves that question in the performance of a mitzvah, whether it's between man and man, between man and God, will it make a difference how good I do this specific act? Will my thought make a difference? You better believe it makes a difference, not just five years from now, not just ten years from now, but it makes a difference for all of eternity. May Hashem bless us and help us that we capture every opportunity to perform mitzvahs, bring us closer to God, to bring us closer to our fellow man. And if we just remember this thought, that if we put a little bit more feeling, it'll make an eternal difference. Wow, what an amazing impetus, what an amazing spiritual stimulant. Have a beautiful, fabulous Shabbos. Thank you.